everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my LV18 franchise with the New York Mets. This is episode 18. So if you guys aren't caught up, look for the playlist in my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell to be basically whenever I come out with a new video. Um, and if you like what you see, uh, click the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least three to five likes for this video. And um, leave any comments below. And before I get this game started, I'm going to try a new format for uh, this video series as well as my NBA 2K18 series. I'm going to give you guys, I would say, 75% control of my roster. Uh, what that means is that, say that you want me to call up somebody, you want me to, you want me to call up Dominic Smith. I'll call up Dominic Smith. You just got to tell me in the comments, you guys want me to call him up. Who should I call down? And basically, I had to make sure it makes sense. Dominic Smith in the game right now is so an overall 55. Am I going to start him? Maybe not. But if you guys tell me to make him a bench player, that makes sense because he's only 55 with the potential of an A. I will play him in my videos, but he won't be a starter. Um, even with trades, say you want me to trade Jose Reyes for somebody. Somebody that makes sense. You know, for instance, I just can't trade Jose Reyes or even UNSS with us for a bum. You know what I mean? Either they're going to be a prospect or somebody that's high level. For instance, you want to test for this for Aaron Judge, sure. Or um, Brandon Nimmo for a top prospect, sure. That'll do that. But what you guys have to tell me is who you want to be traded, who you want to be sent down. And if you want to trade, let me know what you're looking for. A center fielder, a pitcher, or even a specific name. Uh, for instance, you want me to trade for... For instance, Max Serger. You want me to trade Jonas for Max Serger? I'll try it, but it won't be successful. Uh, we can try it. It's not going to happen. So it has to make sense. And obviously, when I said 75% that I have control, I need, you know, it need, again, it needs to make sense. So I will veto it if, you, you know, if it just does not add up. So it's going to be your control from now on. Um, I need you guys to be basically to be active on my videos, if you guys leave comments, even if it's just two words, good job, or hey, you suck. <laughs> I need you guys to be regulars, so it can't just be some random dude that's like, hey, trade this for this. I want you guys to be regular, that's why I want you guys to subscribe, and it's gonna be in your control, again. So you guys wanna see it through, and yeah. So here we are, for this May 21st game, um, against uh, the Miami Marlins. Uh, we have Noah Syndergaard pitching. He's six and one with a 3.16 ERA, and we have Dan Straley, who's three and three with a 3.3 ERA. Marlins are 19 and 27. We're playing this in City Field, so see you guys in field. Two and two to Cameron Maben. Got him to swing with a changeup. That is out number one for the Mets here in the top of the first. Let's take a look at the lineups. We got Cameron Mabin, followed by Miguel Rojas, Justin Bohr, Lewis Brinson, JT Realmuto, Stalin Castro, Martin Prado, uh, McNeeris Sierra, I think I said that right, and Dan Straley. Three and two. Justin Bohr, two outs. That is a swing and a miss. That is two strikeouts already for Noah Syndergaard to end the first. One and two. Another strikeout. That is three straight strikeouts for Noah Syndergaard. After the walk, Noah Sundergaard with bases loaded, two outs with a 1 1 count. He can hit the ball, so I wouldn't be surprised if you could drive him in. Help your cause here, come on. Up the middle, base hit. That is going to be at least two runs that Lagarde is sent home, and he's safe. And it's 2 0 Mets. That is a two run single for Noah Sundergaard, and he is fired up. That was a slow hit ball up the middle, too. I'm surprised. The second baseman cannot get it. That's some good hitting by Noah. One and two to Sierra. Syndergaard deals and throws, and it's another strikeout. Syndergaard really on top of his game right now, and he's just mowing these Marlins down. Two and two to Maven. That's another strikeout. That is six strikeouts already for Noah Syndergaard. As we start the fourth, two and two to Boer. Got him. 
with the strikeout, the fastball in the corner, and he does not believe it. Inning over. That's another swing and a miss. And he is, I don't want to jinx myself, but he is blank through five innings. Oh, and he misses the dive. That's I'm sorry for the late call, but that's going to hit the right field wall. And that's going to be a triple for Pawecki. You know, that's it's happening more and more often where the, the outfielder misses the ball and dive. And I, I'd be able to get a triple. He's lucky nobody was on. But now it is a man on third. With Noah Syndergaard, who already has two RBIs in the game, who drove in the only runs in the game, up at. Suicide Squeeze is on. And he's going to score. And Noah Syndergaard drives in Ploiecki with that Suicide Squeeze. The count as a sacrifice. And another RBI. For Noah Syndergaard. It's going to be a hit up the middle. And it's going to drive in Rosario. It's going to be 4 nothing Mets. That's an RBI single for Noah Syndergaard. And let's see here. It looks like he is a little ways away from the first in RBIs in the league. But he's up there. He's having a heck of a year. Oh, that's going to be a first base hit of the game for the Marlins here in the sixth inning. And I did jinx myself. I did jinx myself. That's a pinch hitter going the opposite direction. Coming for Straley. I feel like I should have died for it. Damn it. Uh, I, thought he, I thought he had enough range to get it. And just like that, I missed a dive with you. And this is going to drive in a run. It's going to be 4 to 1, Mets with still the lead. That's an RBI single for Cameron Mabin. Or M uh, RBI double, rather. And Noah Syndergaard with another base hit. So now he's 2 for 2 in the game. He's got 3 RBIs and a handful of, of uh, strikeouts. Have yourself a game, Noah Syndergaard. A little blooper. And it's gonna fall. And Syndergaard goes to third. It's an RBI single for Rosario and is now five to one Mets here in the sixth. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be fair or even caught. Rosario going the opposite direction. Hitting uh, fair territory. And able to drive him in. All right, and the Mets win the game. Uh, we end up winning five to one. The high Noah Syndergaard offensively and defensively, I believe he had three RBIs throughout the game. So to me, that's pretty insane. He was just that guy for the team. He had uh, what was it, 12 strikeouts? I don't know why it's written like that. It's weird, but he had 12 strikeouts, only giving up one run, five hits throughout eight innings. Uh, he also drove in three RBIs for the Mets. I don't know why it's not showing here, but he should be the offensive player for the Mets too. Let's take a look at the stats. Can okay, recap box score. Uh, -ba 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 -ba. See, look at there. No center guard. Two for two, three hits. So he's just the winning force behind his entire team, and it's just crazy. Um, now he is seven and one. And Familia came in for his uh, 18th save of the season. Um, I apologize, I did not record that. Um, I guess I wasn't really calling it, I was just kind of playing the game. I forgot to basically call the last out of the game, but uh, we did win that game. And uh, we're going to be playing the second, or rather the third game of this game against uh, Miami. Again, um, you guys have control of the roster. Alright, so again. You guys want to trade somebody? You guys want to call somebody up? You guys want to maybe even move the starting lineup a little bit if you want you want us to bat a third, or if you want Jay Bruce to bat a peanut, or even move people down. Just let me know in the comments 
Um, I, have to be, I have to know that you guys are regular. I just don't want you guys to just leave a comment and not um, follow up on it or whatever. But I want these things to make sense. Uh, obviously, for the better of the team. Um, again, you guys are the GM. We are co GMs together. So that's going to be something new for my channel. So we are going to simulate this next game against Miami. And Jose Reyes, torn ligament, blah, blah, blah. We'll put him on the. Let's see, two months is about 60 days. Sorry, let's put him on 60 day DL. And we end up winning. 8-3 uh, behind Jade DeGrom, who's 9-0 now with a 2.2 ERA. He is just cooking. Let's take a look at the box score here. Um, so for the Mets, uh, we had Frazier, Cabrera, and Darno hit home runs. Darno actually hit two. Um, and for the pitching, we had DeGrom go for six innings, four strikeouts, three earned runs, one walk, through six hits. And then we had uh, Ramos go in for the save, which is kind of weird. Um, but I think um, we're gonna be playing. Yeah, we're gonna play this game. It's gonna be Steven Mass versus Adam Conley. Um, let's see. I must not have four lineups. Oh, yeah, we gotta fix that. But uh, besides that, it's gonna be this game against the Marlins to sweep them, basically. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my GM for, or rather, uh, franchise for the New York Mets. Again, if you like what you saw, click the like button. Leave in the comments below. And hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.